international oil prices have jumped for the first time in six months. That's being blamed largely on supply disruptions in major oil producers around the world. Brent crude now trades for $48 per barrel, which represents a 2% increase since November 2015. In Africa's largest oil producer, Nigeria, the militant group known as the Niger Delta Avengers has caused production to be reduced by up to 50%. The political crisis in Venezuela has also driven down production by nearly 200,000 barrels per day. The US and China have also seen their output drop in recent months. Well, to tell us more about the challenges facing Nigeria, we're joined from Lagos by Dolabio um, Oni. He's, with the head, he's the head of energy research with EcoBank Group. Uh, good to speak to you, uh, Dolapo. Uh, why do you think Nigeria is producing less oil now than in previous months? Well, um, the militants have really um, attacked a lot of oil platforms in the Nigerian um, region that is um, most important for oil production, that is Niger Delta. They've shut down about 800,000 barrels per day since um, February this year, and that's a major impact on Nigeria's 2 million barrel per day production. Okay, uh, and, and how has the uh, change in the oil price affected the economy there in Nigeria? You see, that's, that, that, that's the sad part because ideally um, the increase in oil prices would have been fantastic for Nigeria um, because um, part of the, bu the budget for this year was predicated on oil prices of about $38 per barrel. So $49, $48 bar oil would have been fantastic. But unfortunately, because of the decline in oil production, we are not able to actually see that um, extra revenue or make that additional revenue that would have accrued from these high oil prices. Now, Adelapo, what do we know about this group, the uh, Niger Delta Avengers? Just explain to us who they are and, and what their aims are. Fantastic. Um, you see, most these guys were... Um, people that previously had um, some pipeline con protection contracts. Um, initially, they were just militant groups that were attacking um, all, all companies in the Niger Delta, kidnapping workers, and then the government decided to provide them with an amnesty in um, 2009. That amnesty worked for quite a while, and then when, after a while, some of them still went back and started attacking all platforms, then the government decided to give them um, contracts to protect pipelines, protect platforms, essentially just giving them some money um, to not destroy pipelines anymore. But when the new government came in in 2015, the, um, the current government in 2016, rather, um, they decided to cancel those contracts. So we believe those, these are the guys that are behind the current attacks. Okay, uh, well, Adelapo, only we have to leave it there, unfortunately, but thanks for joining us here on TRT World.